Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to cut up some of my other playthrough and just show you where the uh, necklace is for the collector. And what you have to do in order to get the necklace. You should probably move away. Let's see this. Oh! Oh, that's cool. Alright, and then let's grab this. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's go drop that off. Airman. I have a creature corpse to show you. Let me see it then. You hit in the tattered lump of flesh of the airman. It's almost uncorrect. Unrecognizable, but you both know it couldn't have belonged to anything else. He pokes it out with his knife, testing the rubbery meat. He seems satisfied. Yes, <laughs> this is one of the beasts. Progress at last. More to go, though. Hmm? Alright, let's talk about bait for the first one. Okay, so that's the right one. That's the right one. I haven't even caught this one yet. And what about this second one? this and a catfish. No, I don't want anything else about that. There you go. That should do it. Alright, give me that bait. And then the catfish. Oh, I got all the bait. Alright, let's go... Oh, there he is. Oh no! This one, right? Yeah. Alright. Alright. Ah, uh, I should have... Wait, am I gonna need explosives? No, I'm not. Not to finish this out. But we will to get whatever that is. Yeah, come get it, you monstrosity. I was wondering what those are for. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Well. The carcass sinks out of sight. No. Let's get out of here. Oh, 
I'm coming in. How much is it worth? 106, I mean, here. Yeah. But I need more. Let's put that in the cargo. I wonder if I can buy the explosives in bulk again at the uh, with those brothers. We'll find out after this. See what he has to say. There, man. How are things going? Hmm. Let me see it then. He dropped the large bloody carcass in front of the airman. His eyes fill with sadistic delight. He bends down and plunges his knife in the soft flesh. It falls away before the blade revealing a glint of metal. With a sickening tear, he rests it from where it was embedded in the flesh of the creature. He holds it aloft. He recognizes it as a necklace glistening in gore. Well, fisherman, it's unfortunate at last. This ought to fetch a decent price from the right collector. Here, why don't you take it? <gasps> oh, so that's how you get that relic. He stands back from the corpse. A melodic look comes across his face. Go return that thing to the collector. All right, let's go to the, or the amulet. That's what it is, right? Or necklace, whatever. You enter the house carrying the ornate necklace. The collector recognizes it almost immediately. An excellent find. It demands pride of pa pride of place in my collection. Sweeps aside some scrapes on the dusty table, candle wax pulling in its corners. He places the necklace carefully in the clearing. And I suppose he'll be demanding re recompense as well. Recompense as well. He opens the crimson book, its spine crackling audibly. Selecting page carefully, he begins to read aloud. The words sound muffled as though he's speaking through a thick haze. B banish. I don't think voice lines of spells and protects. You hear a groaning crackling ear. Suddenly your vision flares and both of your ears pop. He closes the book. We must keep searching. I've been thinking more on where we might find another. The reef at Cellar Bison may have caught the equipment of some wreckage. Search around that area. I've already marked a location in your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? Yeah, what are you going to do once you have all these relics? He ponders for a moment. It's surprising, isn't it? The intentions we hold towards simple objects, but they are anything but simple. Seemingly mute articles can speak in different ways. If I showed you a childhood toy, would you be awash with your forgotten memories? They hold the power to recall what was once lost. Anything else? Uh, nothing. I'll be going. And thank you guys so much for watching.